adding lights and changing light switches will often come up as questions in group discussions. And in this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at installing a new ceiling rose and changing the two gang switch into a three gang. So let's look at how we can do this. How can we add a new ceiling light and then convert the existing two gang light switch into a three gang switch? What are the steps involved? And what does the circuit look like before the changes and after? We can begin by looking at what the customer might have already. In this example scenario, let's say that they already have two lamps on the lounge ceiling, mounted in the usual one third distance apart. Each of the lights are controlled independently by a single two gang switch, so that the lights are one way with one gang for each lamp. Now we can look at what the customer wants. What do they want us to do? They want a third ceiling light fitted. They have a favourite corner for sitting and reading in the evening and it's always a little dark in that corner. No problem, a third lamp on the ceiling and again independently switched from the other two. We will change the existing two gang switch for a new three gang switch with each circuit wired as one way lighting. To make it easier to follow the drawings, the earth or CPC has been left off some of these drawings, just for clarity. Do make sure that the CPCs are installed on the real circuit. The incoming supply will have the CPC terminated in each of the ceiling roses. And the CPC that is with the switch wires will terminate in the ceiling roses and in the switch. The existing two lamp circuit should look something like this. We have our two gang one way switching and we have two lights, one for each switch. Notice that these switches are all two way switches, but we only require one way switching. This is not a problem. We simply use the common terminal for each switch and the relevant L1 terminal as shown. We need to take the existing two gang switch out of circuit. It is good practice when removing wires from switches to cable tie, label or mark each set of wires so that it is easy to see which set of wires belong to each other for when we come to wire up the new switch. You must preserve the correct wire arrangement for each switch if you want them to function correctly at the end of the job. When installing a new ceiling rose, we must maintain the correct designation for a three plate ceiling rose. If we don't, then anyone else following behind us is likely to find it difficult to understand the wiring. The outside block of two terminals is always the switch block. The middle block of three terminals is always the live loop. And the outside brass block with three terminals is always the neutral block. We should always keep this same order. Our first step is to position the new ceiling rows for lamp number three. Now we can add the wiring to the new ceiling rows. Begin by extending the phase wires or live loop from the centre block of three on one ceiling rows to the centre block of three on the new ceiling rows. Extend the neutral from the outside block of three to the same block on the new fitting. And finally, extend the earth or CPC between the earth terminals. Reconnect the wiring for the original lines to the new switch. Then connect the new wiring to the new switch and the ceiling rows. And the finished circuit with the lamps attached should look something like this. Again, for clarity and understanding, the root of the CPCs has been left off the drawing. Adding a new light and converting the switch from a two gang to a three gang is relatively easy. Be aware that with shallow back boxes, the length and size of the conductors might make it more difficult to fit the front cover of the switch. A deeper back box is one solution, and this is easy for hollow walls. For a brick wall, a packing plate may be the way to go if the hole cannot be deepened. Do follow a logical method. Make your own sketches or photograph what you have 
before you remove any wires. And always mark or label the existing wires at the time of removing from the old switch. Each set of wires will need to go back into the new switch in the correct order. And always work safely and follow the correct safe isolation guidance. Thank you for watching. It is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.